Thank you. You're taking Ken Copeland's time now. <laughs> Joni and I and the entire Daystar Television Network want to say congratulations to the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International 70 great years. Yes, you think about uh, Dima Shikarian, what, you know, of course he's with the Lord, but his influence on so many business leaders and the Shikarian family as well. A big congratulations from all of us here at Daystar. What a milestone, 70 years. And we have a little something special for you. Hello, this is Mario Murillo, and it is my great honor to tell you a story. When I was a starving young preacher, barely able to get our ministry off the ground, I was invited to speak as a teenager at the Full Gospel Businessmen chapter in San Francisco. It was life-changing because they raised several hundred dollars at a time when that was a lot of money for us to have our first outreach and to rent our first building. After that, I was privileged to speak at my first world convention and personally meet one of the greatest men of God I've ever known, Dima Shikarian, a man who had a vision that is so amazing that it's probably one of the greatest untold stories of the 20th century. The millions of people that he influenced through the Full Gospel Businessmen chapters that were all over the world. I remember one day sitting with Andre Crouch and we were talking about our heroes. And Andre said something to me and we almost said it simultaneously. He said, Dima Shikarian was the most like Christ in his character and temperament of anyone we had ever met. It was an honor to know him and I know that his story needs to be retold and the vision needs to be rekindled. And I am thrilled to be any part of that miracle. God bless you. Hi everyone, I'm Richard Roberts, and I'm glad to be a part of this special celebration honoring 70 years of the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship International. You know, I was just a little boy, two or three years of age, when on a Friday night in my dad, Oral Roberts Crusade in Los Angeles, he called a young businessman, Dima Shakarian, up to the platform. And as my dad told me the story, Demas gave his testimony and poured out his heart of how God was leading him to start a men's fellowship, the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship International. And after he gave the testimony, my dad said, now we're gonna meet tomorrow morning, which is Saturday, we're gonna meet tomorrow morning at Clifton's Cafeteria, and we're gonna have a men's meeting, and he said, I'm gonna be the first speaker. <laughs> Well, that's how Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship got started. And I thank God all through these years. And I want to say a special word of thanks to all the Shikarian family, Demas and his dear wife, Rose, who I remember very well. I remember many times being in their home having dinner. And Richard and Vanji and uh, Cynthia and all the family. God bless everyone. God bless the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International. And congratulations on 70 glorious years. Hello, I'm Kenneth W. Hagan. I'm the president of Kenneth Hagan Ministries and Raymond Bible Training College, also the pastor of Raymond Bible Church. But you know, when I think of Demas Shakarian, I think of his contribution to what God wanted to do in this earth. It's through his formation of the full gospel businessmen that thousands of people that didn't know about the Holy Spirit. Through the full gospel of businessmen, thousands of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. 
In fact, my dad and Demas were good friends and Demas used to tell dad, I want you to pre teach on the Holy Spirit. And I was at many of those conventions with my dad as he spoke in, on the Holy Spirit in the afternoon breakout sessions. I was there with him as he was one of the speakers at the night banquet. At, he spoke at world conventions and all these conventions. And actually, even though dad had a good ministry, it was Demas and the full gospel businessmen that helped launch him to the worldwide ministry that we have today with Kenneth Hagin Ministries. Demas, <laughs> I, I, I never will forget, my dad would not, even though he had something, he wouldn't jump up and interrupt. And it would be so, so funny. Uh, Demas would be there talking and all of a sudden he would sort of sputter a little bit and he looked down the table, the head table there, and he would say, Brother Hagin, you got something? My dad say yes. And he'd go to the microphone and deliver the message that he had from God. You know, Demas Sikarian will be remembered in the annals of heaven as the man that helped promote the infilling of the Holy Spirit upon thousands of people that would have never heard the message if it had not been for Demas and the Full Gospel of Businessmen Association. Thank you for allowing me to share about Demas. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jesse DePlantis. I'm so excited about what Demas Shakarian did. Years ago, this is the 70th anniversary and continuing that great vision. See, every man's work must be a continuation. I wish I could be there with you, but I'm telling you what, I'm about the Father's business just like Demas was and just like you are. Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship was one of the greatest ideas God ever gave any individual. It touched people that you never thought would be touched because I heard people say for years, well, you know, business people don't have time. They go to church on a Sunday and that's it. No, no. Businessmen and business people, they love the gospel. And I thank God that God gave Demas that wonderful, wonderful vision. And Cynthia, thank you for continuing and going with it. And it'll go faster and further. All you got to do is believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship International. 70 years. What a blessing of God that is. Until next time, this is Jesse DePlan saying, we'll see all of you soon. God bless you. Tell somebody about Jesus, okay? See you later. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, I want to wish you a happy 70th anniversary for the Full Gospel Businessmen and honoring Demas Shakarian. He was such a wonderful man and he actually got my husband John Osteen started because we weren't very popular with the, the denominational people at the time when he first received the baptism in the Holy Ghost. And so Demas Shakarian asked him to come and speak and I'm telling you, he sent uh, John all of the world to um, minister for the Full Gospel Businessmen, and it actually got him started. And it was a wonderful thing. He was a wonderful man. He was so full of God. His whole family was wonderful. I loved Miss Rose and all the, the children. And I just wanted to say thank you to the Shakarian family for uh, doing all that you have done through the years and for all the people that you have led to Jesus, so many all over the world. And I know Jesus is proud of you and I personally am proud of you. And thank you for asking me to say a word about you because you've meant so much to me and so many others. Be blessed in this new year, in Jesus' name, amen. Hello, this is Bill Winston. I am here to thank you and celebrate with you the 70th anniversary of the Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship. I tell you, this particular organization has made an impact on so many people's lives. Back in, what, 1952, Demas Shikarian uh, started this organization, and look where the Full Gospel Businessmen has gone. This is proof that God's work will go on. If we'll just have the faith to just stay with God, you'll stay with us. Now this organization has affected so many lives, has caused people who were in business, who didn't know Christ to come into the kingdom of God. Oh, we celebrate you. Again, 
Congratulations, all of those who have been involved and are now taking the lead with the full gospel businessmen in taking it all over the world. We congratulate you. We thank you. We celebrate you. Bill Winston saying we love you and keep walking by faith. Hello, I'm Jerry Savelle, and I'm so pleased to have a part in the 70-year anniversary of the Full Gospel Businessman. Obviously, you know it was begun by Dima Shakarian, one of the most precious men I've ever known. He was a great inspiration to me back in the early days of my ministry, and in fact, it was because of the Full Gospel Businessman and them inviting me to participate in their meetings on a, a regional level and a national level that it helped launch my ministry across the world, and I will forever be grateful. So I just want to thank all of the Shakarian family for being so loyal to the call of God and also being so faithful to helping other people launch their ministries like you did mine. So once again, I celebrate Demas Shakarian and I celebrate the 70 years of the Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship. Cynthia, what an honor it is for you to ask me to remember your grandfather, Demos Shakarian. He, he had so much influence, and the influence your grandfather had with business people and with the church, really, because it because of him, the movement of the charismatic gifts kept going forward. I remember sitting by him once on a plane and us just conversing over the influence that he had had in the body. I want to leave you with a scripture for what is to come ahead. I know how much he influenced my life. I know how uh, full gospel businessmen as well as Women's Aglow starting in the 70s, without them, I don't think the church would have ever moved forward the way it moved forward. But here's my scripture for you as you remember this time. In that day, the Lord of hosts will become a, a magnificent crown, a glorious diadem to the converted remnant of his people. A spirit of justice for him who sits in judgment, administering the law, a strength to those who drive back the battle at the gate. And the Lord says to you, this will be a time that you will shift that remnant that you are still part of into a new strength for the battle ahead. I decree right now new battle strategies for the battle ahead. We reach back and then we press forward. God bless you all. Hello, this is Pastor Paula White Kane. I didn't grow up in church, but I remember getting saved when I was 18 years old. I was in this small church in Damascus, Maryland, and the men would gather and they would go to these events together and be all excited, and, but they would come back full of wisdom and power and the fire of God and the anointing of God. And I'd think, where did they go? And I'd find out that they would go to the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship. Man, what an impact it would have on them. There are no words that I can begin to say to the Shakirians for the years, the lineage, the legacy that has been done through this great ministry and through your grandfather. When I look over a man and the importance that he is in the kingdom of God, he's a father that governs, guards, and guides. As we've done extensive work all throughout the nation and throughout the world, we find that often the root problems in society are the lack of fatherhood and of men this is one of the most important ministries. And I just pray during this 70 year anniversary that you continue to thrive, that God favors you, that he anoints you, that he downloads heavenly strategies. And personally, for all the great businessmen and all the men that I know have been touched by this ministry, thank you for the price you've paid. May God keep you and prosper you. Pat Boone here, folks. I wanna just reminisce with you a little bit about 70 years, the Full Gospel Businessmen's Association. I still remember so fondly all the years with Demas and all the other folks in the uh, Full Gospel Businessmen's Association. It has been such an exciting life for me 
And I know for all of you who have received the baptism in the Holy Spirit, and I know the Full Gospel Businessmen is responsible for so many candles that have been lit across this country for so many years. We are the light of the world. Jesus is the light. We are the light. He fills us with his light and we radiate that light. Well, I don't have to tell you any of this. This is all uh, just fruit of the spirit for me. Thanks to Cynthia. Thanks to all of you for reactivating and celebrating 70 years and we're still going strong. Let's keep it that way. The God is our, is our Father, the Holy Spirit. Jesus is our light. The Spirit fills us with His energy and His power. Keep it going, brethren and sisters. Jesus is Lord. Hi, this is Bishop Keep the Word of Faith International Christian Center. Praise God. I'm just reminiscing about the full gospel businessman in the 70 years that it's been involved in ministering to people around the globe. You know, Demos Shakarian uh, was someone that also had an impact on, not on my life, but a whole lot of people's lives, praise God. And you know, when I first was a rookie preacher, just got started after I graduated from Bible school, I used to attend the tent meetings they had out there in Troy. Kenneth E. Hagan Sr. called me up during one of those meetings and the word of the Lord came unto him about our ministry and of course it all came to pass and here we are today because I was at that meeting and I went to many meetings like that because there was just such wonderful ministry thousands of people under the tent and so praise God we want to say congratulations for 70 years and we trust in the name of Jesus that the anointing of God will continue to minister to the lives of people through this organization. Thank God for Demon Security. And let us invite, first of all, uh, Cynthia, where are you? Please stand up. Um, you know, I don't have... I loved, I know Shakirin very well. Uh, but I just want to say something to you. This is uh, the, the granddaughter of Dima Shakirin. Is that correct? I don't want to get it wrong because when I've been up in the spirit stuff, I get all confused. Are you enjoying this, by the way? Okay, we're going to do something like this for you. But, but I want to say something. People don't know this, but I, well, I am actually in the ministry because of the Full Gospel Business Fellowship. I came to Christ. As you know, I was in the street and I had a street experience. And I heard about this gathering called the Full Gospel Business Fellowship. And they asked me if I would play the piano. I'd only been saved a few weeks and was in a little town. And I wanted to see how far it reached to a very, very small town in South Africa where a young man was being groomed and prepared for ministry, but nobody believed in me, not one single person. Um, I was rejected uh, when I went to Bible college to do the interviews twice. And I went to this meeting and there was a very powerful evangelist there and then a representative of your grandfather. And in that meeting, I was playing and this, this is the first time this happened. The Spirit of the Lord came on me, which as you heard today, this is what I do regularly, but it had never happened to me. And the pastor that was there, the evangelist, his name was Fred Roberts. And he was, he was under the anointing and he, he said, something strange has happened. He said, God told me, now I'm a few weeks old in the Lord, that this young man must take over the service. Now, I was petrified. You know, I'm 20, I'm 19, 20 years of age. And I, I didn't know what to do. And the Spirit of the Lord came on me and I started worshiping and singing at an altar call. And my ministry started officially from that point onwards. And I want to make it clear that this wonderful organization that I know your father is deeply involved in now, but is... It, it reached even to that little place to raise me up. I just wanted to tell you that from the platform. I, of course, I would not, I'm going to do a presentation for you and whatever, but thank you for being here, and I honor you today. Thank you. I'm Gene Bailey, and I am so thrilled to be able to talk about Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International. 
I know it was started in 1952, and I know we're celebrating 70 years, but when I think back on revivals, I am a student of revival, and there's so much that I didn't know about the roots of Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship, especially the Shakarian family. And in looking back and diving into history of the Armenian revivals and how they came, the, the ancestors came over to this land, it's an amazing story of the faithfulness of God. Let me tell you, there was something about a Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship meeting uh, that was like none other. It was everything from social media to broadcast television all rolled up into one. And it was interesting to go to a meeting. I remember my father carrying me to a meeting or two when I was a young boy and hearing the speakers sit up there and talk about what God had done in their lives, great testimonies of healing. It was really a movement. It wasn't just an organization that did a great thing for God. It was a movement and it ignited charismatic renewal, modern Pentecostalism, if you want to call it that. But listen, it was really about seeing people move closer to God. And I love that about the history. I love the fact that this has continued to go all of these years through all of the turmoil of the, what we've done, gone through as a nation in the world, and now to be in 85 nations, amazing, amazing heritage. Second Thessalonians 3.3 3 says, But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. I think about that with all the history of Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship and the Shakarian family, all that they had to do with, they were still protected. In Matthew 25, 21, says, His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You are faithful over a few things. I'll make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. I think of that with all that's happened, but it's not over. Seventy years is just the beginning for Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship. I'm glad to be able to be a part of it and be a part here with you tonight to celebrate what's going on. Seventy years, we're just getting started. Listen, let's bind together. Let's unify together like we've never unified before, where we bring all walks in Christianity together to see this world change, to see America changed, to know who Jesus really is. Listen, I know you're like me. You know that this season that we're in, right now more than any other time, this is the last great awakening. We've all got a job to do. And sure, 70 years with Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship has been a wonderful start to what we've got to do now. So I want to encourage you. Let's celebrate tonight. Let's celebrate what's happening. But now let's get ready for the next level because we've got a lot of work to do. And I know if Dima Shakirian was standing right here right now, he'd say, let's go get it done. Hello, I'm Kenneth Copeland. In the uh, 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews, we have the hall of fame of faith. Then in the 12th chapter, wherefore seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside the every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Demo Shikarian, an apostle of God, sent to the businessmen first in the United States and then international, full gospel businessmen's fellowship international. And his obedience to carry out the things that God had called him to do is just, well, phenomenal. He is part of these witnesses. We're, we're surrounded now by these great witnesses that have gone on to glory. Demas Shakarian, Oral Roberts, Kenneth E. Hagan, T.L. Osborne, T.L. Lowry, Morris Cerullo, <laughs> oh, oh, just uh, Rex Humbard. Glory to God, just, just, just go on and on and on and track it all the way back to Jesus Himself. The callings of God and the wonders of a ministry that began in California and a man that owned a dairy. <laughs> and look what happened after that. 
I mean all over the world, untold thousands filled with the Spirit of the living God just because of Demas and Rose Shikarian. Good friends, lovely people. I can say this, one of the kindest, sweetest men I have ever had the privilege of meeting. Just so kind, soft-spoken, but a giant of faith. This great apostle of God laid out a track before us for us to follow, and we're still following it. And I thank God for giving me the privilege to have been a part of something that began 70 years ago and is still in operation today because Jesus is Lord. Well, I think God wants to show Southern California and from here to the world that he's alive. Man, isn't this wonderful? Jesus is here.